Hey guys, today we're going on a bug hunt. We're going to be going around the garden looking at different habitats where some of our little friendly bugs live and uh, we're going to take a make a tally and then a little later on we can use that tally to figure out the total of all the creatures we've seen and maybe even make a bar chart. What you will need, a hat, protect yourself from the sun or sun lotion, I'm using both and you can download lots of uh, free downloadable things to print from the internet to use for this kind of activity but I've just made my own as you can see there but it'd be nice to draw a picture of the creatures you think you might find so there top one I've got a lovely picture of an ant ant a large space for the tally count I think if I'm going to see some of those I'm probably going to see loads they tend to all hang about in big groups together and over there the total okay now I've got an ant, wood lice, I think we're going to find a lot of those, bees, wasps, spiders with webs I've decided and spiders without, butterfly and I've left a space here for anything unusual that I find that I haven't thought of already. Uh, I quite enjoy doing the pictures, you might like to do it that way yourself. Okay, a spider and a snail there, I don't know if you can see. There's a spider down there, there's a snail, ooh, and I think there's a little black ant right there. Two black ants right there, one, two, don't know if you can see those. We've seen a snail. One snail, uh, two ants. We've seen two spiders, both of them without a web. Okay, here's a bee collecting nectar from the flowers to give it energy, it's food, and also, uh, although it doesn't mean to, collecting pollen from the flowers to pollinate other flowers. Lovely. So here we've got a, a big log, and I know if I turn this over, there's going to be loads of stuff living under there. That's quite a special habitat, very dark, safe from all the all the birds that might eat these creatures. Uh, so let's have a look, what do we find? Whoa, there's a spider. Just, uh, so that's one more spider. Oh no, not a lot there, but there is a, just look closely, a slug, a slimy slug. Right, I'm gonna carefully put that back so I don't squash it. Oh, and there's another slug there in the grass. You can see that, okay. Careful, put it back, I don't want to hurt them. Hmm. So, I'll give it one more spider. And I'm going to have to... What does a slug look like? Slug. One. Okay. I'm sure I won't be let down if I look under this mat, I'll find some kind of life. Again, this is another safe place for small creatures to hide. Okay, right, so, don't know if you can see that, that's a wood louse. We've got one, two, three, there's another one down there, somewhere, yep. Okay, that's four wood louse, so, I'm going to add that to my tally, one, two, three, four. Okay, brilliant, right, well that's my, uh, my hunt around the garden done. I've, uh, well I've done this. So I've added up the tallies down this side and using that information I've then gone on to make a bar chart. Okay, now like I say, I'm sure you can download these things off the internet but I quite enjoy doing this myself. As you can see, the thing I've got most of in the garden, if you come along to the scale at the side, I saw five of these spiders without webs. Um, all right, enjoyed that. Uh, if you fancy having a go, why don't you take a photo of your evidence and then add it to your portfolio on Class Dojo, share it with your class and your teacher. Okay, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.